have a lot of the forest being degraded and there is the need for the degraded forest to be rehabilitated. And ProForest as an organization is very committed to sustainability. So we are very committed to sustainable forestry. And our commitment it's, is what has led us here with the support of the Walmart Foundation. And what we are trying to do in the Bonyure Forest Reserve, which is one of the degraded forests in this landscape, is to rehabilitate it by replanting the degraded areas. We are doing the rehabilitation using the modified Tunja system. Bonyure Forest Reserve, to be precise, we are uh, concerning two compartments, which is 12 and 13. We are talking about 266.8 hectares. And the collaboration between forestry and pro forest is that uh, they are coming together in order to re-forest the place. That's, in other words, to restore the de degraded area to reclaim the forest cover. Yes, farmers are allowed to grow food crops along with the planted tree species. The principle is that as the farmers take care of their food crops, they also take care of the, of the planted trees. And this is a, an approach that produces a win-win situation for both the farmers and then also um, Forestry Commission. It's a collaborative forestry approach in which farmers or community members support in the rehabilitation of degraded forest reserves. About seven species were used in the rehabilitation planting in compartment 13 and 12 of the Abonyure Forest Reserve. And the species used include indigenous species, uh, namely Terminalia ivorensis and then Terminalia superba. We also used Kaya ivorensis, then uh, Mansonia altissima. As you can see, the trees are already um, shooting above the plantain. So in another year, the plantains will exit, the canopies will interlock. Then when the canopies close up, the trees, the food crops or the plantains can't be here anymore. So naturally, they naturally exit and then the trees take over. It's a process, it's designed in that way. In actual sense, the overall goal is to reclaim the degraded area, to combat the carbon so preserve the climate change, also the biodiversity, and then make sure the air, the polluted air is being purified. And then also to make sure the water bodies are kept intact for, so that our rural folks will get potable water to drink. MTS, as I've already mentioned, has a lot of socioeconomic benefits, which is the opportunity for farmers to have a place to grow food crops and you can see a lot of plantains and then you can see a lot of plantains that have been harvested and I also I guess you know that most of the plantains that have been harvested here are going to markets far away from these places from these communities so the plantain is, is produced in this forest but um, it goes to feed the urban areas of Ghana in the short term it gives them an income from the sale of the plantains and in the long term, they have a stake in the trees that they have helped to plant. And the biggest winner is the nation Ghana, because we get our forest back. So MTS is, is, is very, very, very beneficial. It's a very cost-effective way of rehabilitating degraded forest reserves.